Hi guys, Spartan765. Uh, today I'm doing a video based on a question asked by several viewers on my thoughts on the Wasser 10. This is actually a Lancaster Arms uh, Rough Rider AK-47. But before I go into the video on the Wasser, I'm going to do a little update on this rifle. Um, I was looking at it and thought it was a Bulgarian's part kit build, but I could not find a 10 with a circle in it anywhere in the Tronian or anywhere. So I researched it a little more, looked, typed in the serial number on the Trunnion, and it turns out it's a Hungarian AKM parts kit, which is awesome because Hungarian's really decent up there with Bulgarian and Egyptian. Okay, as far as parts kits go, I'm going to go into that next, actually, sorry. Um, the three best parts kits that are readily available in the U.S., in my opinion, are Bulgarian, Egyptian, and Hungarian. Those are the top three, and yes, I did say Egyptian. Egyptian are top quality AKs. Don't you know? Just because they're made in Africa, who cares? That doesn't mean they can't be good. Hell, China makes one of the best AKs. The Norinco Type 56. That's a fucking awesome AK. Um. Okay, but about Wasser tanks. Okay, I'm gonna address issues today that are current occurring issues with current production Wasser 10s. That's Wasser 10s produced, you know, as of a few months ago and up to current. They fixed a lot of problems because Sentry's actually lost a lot of money on returns and stuff like that and repairs because they're put together like shit. I mean, literally a retarded Muslim could put it together better than that. I mean, not much care goes into their AKs when they put them together in my opinion. That's why I've looked at several of them and I would never buy one unless I just wanted to fuck around rifle, you know, pretty much just abuse and just screw around and who cares about a type rifle. But I don't think I'm going to get one ever because of just the quality and I've seen them, shot them before, I just don't like them. A lot of them do have canned front sights, the slights off about 5 or 10 degrees, canned slightly in between 5 to 10, maybe a little less than that. And that caught, what that does is it means your front sight post is way over there and that gives you a real shitty real shitty sight picture. So now the Lancaster, this is a zero rifle, that fucking front sight post is right in the middle. That isn't off at all anyway. Um, you know, not that you know, you have to adjust them a little bit, but I mean, if you have to have the fucking thing way over the fucking side, you're not, you know, that's a really terrible sight picture. Um, the other thing, can of gas blocks. Sentry's gotten better with their gas blocks, because if you have it canned too much, it'll actually jam and cause rubbing and excessive metal wear. Uh, the other thing about Sentry's is the mag wobble issue. Now, this only really occurs with Sentry's just because it really has almost nothing to do with the way they milled it out from new production wassers don't have that. You know, the milled from the 10 double stack, the 10 round single stack, that was only on older ones. But... Century does not put the dimples in here, which prevents the magazine from just going side to side. They do not do that. I don't know why. The receivers are crap, I think. They're not even fully heat treated. I think they're just heat treated around the holes. You know, around these, where the holes, where the rivets go. That's the only place I think they're heat treated. They don't fully heat treat the whole thing. On this here is an NDS3 receiver. These are fully heat treated above mil spec. Century is below mil spec. Um, as far as accuracy goes, um, some wassers are different. Some can be really accurate and some can be like, fuck, you can't even hit a barrel at 100 meters. You know, I've seen a very large variety and different di or, um, variations in accuracy in wasser tens. Um, they all do have US made barrels on them, or the newer ones do anyway before the barrel ban. Uh, came in place in 2006. They had original Romanian barrels. Now they got U.S. They're doing a little better with their barrels. Um, as far as uh, overall build quality, like I said, not very good. I would avoid that if you're looking for a high quality AK to, that's going to last your lifetime. A Wasser, an AK with a one year warranty is just a piece of shit, to be honest. Lancaster gives lifetime warranties on theirs. That's why I buy from them. They're one of the number one manufacturer in the U.S. Right up there, you know, Lancaster and Arsenal are the two top manufacturers in the U.S. Um, as far as finish goes, um, some uh, wasps are finished with black phosphate parkerization, some are blue. I don't like blueing on an AK and I, black phosphate parkerization is okay. I like parkerization, 
just doesn't matter, you know, gray or black. It's more durable than blue in a gun coat. I've owned an AK with gun coat, you know. It chipped a little bit, but you know, whatever, I suppose. Uh, stock, wire brush, and wassers. You know, you're not looking at a beautiful stock when you get it. You're gonna have to refinish it yourself. Um, well, that's pretty much just my two cents and wassers and what I think about them. I mean, it's a good rifle to get if you already got in a good AK like this or something like that. You just want to fuck around with. Who cares if it breaks or who cares if it gets dinged up? You know, get it that. I might just buy like an hundredfold or something to bump fire the crap out of, or just you know go around and screw around with it and just have fun with it, not having to worry about you know ding up the finish or anything on it. But um, that's pretty much my two cents. You got any comments, questions? Send me a message. Spark sounds good.